Hi there, my name is Jesse Tice. I'm the village administrator here in Grafton. I've been here in Grafton about four years now. And what I do every day for the village is work with all of the different departments, whether it's the library, the public works department, the police department, the fire department, parks and recreation, to make sure everything is running absolutely as smoothly as possible and keeping Grafton the great place that it is to live and play. Every day, I do a lot of paperwork and I make a lot of telephone calls. But what that means is that the departments are talking to me about what's happening in the village and what we can do if anything needs to be fixed or if anything um, needs to be updated. And we do, like I said before, our very best to make keep Grafton the beautiful place that it is. Um, all of our departments work very hand in hand, closely together and they make sure that I know what's going on so I can tell our village board who are elected, but when your mom and dad go to vote, they elect the village board to lead the village and that the village board makes decisions which I implement and work with the departments to keep Grafton the way it is, as beautiful as it is. Sounds like great teamwork, Jesse. It is, it is a lot of fun working with all the different departments mm -hmm. Um, like I said, I get to work with everybody from the library to the police officers. It all depends on a different day, a different interaction with a different department. A lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, and a lot of fun. Do you have a favorite children's book that you like to read? Yes, I do. My favorite children's book goes back to when my two sons were very little. Their favorite bedtime story was Goodnight Moon. I can't quite remember all of the words anymore, but boy oh boy, I read that many nights in a row and that became my favorite children's book. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for talking with me today. You're welcome. Thank you. Now that we have visited with the village administrator, um, Jesse Tice, we are going to visit some of the other department heads for the village of Grafton. First, we're going to visit with acting police chief. Emmett Grissom. Hi, my name is Emmett Grissom, like Judy says, and I'm currently the Acting Chief of Police here for the Police Department. Emmett, what kind of um, services does the Grafton Police Department provide for the people of Grafton? Uh, we, we provide a lot of services. Everybody assumes or thinks that maybe, you know, you're just always out there catching the bad guys, making arrests, you know, stopping speeders and stuff like that. but. There is more to it than that, you know. We we are a full service department. We we, we help people when they're in crisis. Um, we help people when they have questions. People in need. So it's not just always, uh, you know, bad guys and and traffic stuff. Sure. We do a lot. We you know we're a full service department to help the needs of the citizens and people that visit Grafton with um, any kind of services they may need help or assistance with. Do you have some educational programs? Uh, yes, we do have some educational programs. Uh, a lot of it is through the school district. We okay. work we work closely with the, the school district. With our, we have an officer assigned as a school resource officer. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our educational uh, or courses or things is what we do through the school. Oh, okay. Do you have a favorite children's book that you either read as a child or that you like to read? To I do. Yes, I do. It's How Do Dinosaurs Go to Sleep at Night. Oh. That was the one that we read to my kids when they were little every night. That was their favorite book. That It had to be read every night. So it's, you did, know. Did the book do the trick? Yes, it did. <laughs> they, they love it and they, they still remember it to this day that that's, that was their favorite book. So that was that would be the book I would say, How Do Dinosaurs Go to Sleep at Night. Well, thank you for sharing that information with us. It was nice talking with nice you. Nice talking with you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here today to talk to Chief William Rice of the Grafton Fire Department. Can you tell us in a nutshell some of the things that the Grafton Fire Department does for the community of Grafton? Sure. Well, uh, in addition to the obvious things, going on fires and rescue calls, uh, I think it starts with fire prevention activities. Uh, every year we have an open house in October during Fire Prevention Week. Uh, during that whole week we'll visit the schools, all the grade schools, and then at the end of the week we have an open house here that all the kids are invited to right come here? to. Right mm here? -hmm. Right here at the firehouse. 
We have all sorts of things people do. It's a lot of fun. Uh, in addition to that, we often have other tours when uh, people ask us if they can come in and, and visit the station, and we will often uh, provide smaller tours. Oh, okay. And then throughout the course of the year, there's a few other events, like the annual bike race Grafton has. We try to open up a firehouse for people to come and visit then also. And they can come in and learn a little bit about our fire department and hopefully a little bit about fire prevention also. Do you have a favorite children's book by any chance, either that you read as a child or that you like to read to children? I think my favorite book would be Clifford, the Firehouse Dog. Uh, Clifford is the big red dog, right? The big red dog. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. It was nice talking with you today. Nice talking to you. I'm Amber Thomas. I am the Director of Public Works and Village Engineer for the Village of Grafton. What does your department do for the Village of Grafton? Sure. So the Department of Public Works um, does a whole assortment of different things, but basically we maintain any properties that are owned by the village, which would be any of our village buildings, such as the building we're in today, which is our Public Works and our Park and Rec facility, but also things like Village Hall, Library, Police Department, Fire Department, all of those type of buildings we do the general maintenance on as well as um, village parks. So all the village parks are maintained by our staff here as well. Um, and then we also take care of everything in the public right of way. So the public right of way would be anything where you see streets and sidewalks and things like that. So we maintain the streets, um, the sidewalks, street trees that you see between the curb and the sidewalks along the street, um, signage, signals, um, traffic signals that we have at different, different intersections around the village. Um, all of those areas. So we have a staff here of about 12 that maintain all of those throughout the year and throughout the different seasons. Um, right now we're in summer, so we're doing a lot of roadway repairs, sidewalk repairs, um, some repairs and some annual cleaning to our storm sewer system. Um, that's the system that has all of the grates that you see in the roadway. So when it rains, it takes all the storm water off the roads and makes those safe areas to drive. Sure, sure. Um, we're cleaning those out and maintaining them and making sure they're functioning well. Um, so we do those type of operations through the summer. As we get into fall, we do a lot of leaf cleanup for all of the village, you know, village properties around and take care of those leaves, get them off, off the roads and off of people's properties. Obviously in the snow, we yes. do a lot of plowing and That's salting. Time, yes. sure. So um, then our crew is in at all days, nights, mm -hmm. weekends, whenever the, you know, whenever the snow hits. So to try and keep the road safe for everyone to travel. Um, yeah. yeah, it sounds yeah. like you have a really fun job. <laughs> I do Keeps have a fun job. All year yes, long. it does. Hey, Amber, do you have a favorite children's book that you either read as a child or that you like to read? To sure. So I will say as a child, um, mm -hmm. my favorite book was The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Ah, and I actually nice. have a videotape of my parents when I was three years, three years old. I had memorized it, so I thought that I could read it at yeah, three. You're not the only one that's done that. <laughs> right? yeah. um, but now as a parent, I think my favorite book to read to my kids is Little Blue, Little Blue Truck. Oh, I know. Which is a fun yeah. rhyming and one. And there's a couple yeah. different ones in that series. I was going to say, there's some series. seasonal ones, too. So yes. We have quite a few at the library. Yes, so check them out if you haven't okay. seen them. They're really fun books. Well, it was really fun talking to you. Thanks for sharing the information about the Public Works Department. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is John Safstrom, Park and Recreation Director for the Village of Grafton. What does the Park and Rec Department do for the Village of Grafton? Um, the Park and Recreation Department is a, offers a wide range of programs to families, youth, adults. We have senior citizen programs. We manage the outdoor swimming pool. We offer swim lessons. Um, during the summer, we have tennis, archery. We do yoga programs outdoors in the park. Um, just a wide range of programs for youth, families, adults. Do you do any programs during the winter? Um, we do have programs during the winter. We offer open gyms. We have badminton inside the gym in the winter. We offer adult volleyball. We do youth basketball camps, things like that. Do you have a favorite children's book that you read as a child or that you read to your children? Um, I do. I have probably read Where the Wild Things Are oh. over a thousand times because yeah. I have four children. So. That's right. You are not alone in that one. No. Well, thank you for explaining to me about the uh, Park and Rec Department today. It was nice talking with you. Thanks, Judy.